Are you struggling with Gradle errors while trying to open your project in Android Studio? You're not alone. Today, we're diving into a common issue that many developers face, the dreaded unable to find a matching configuration error. I totally get how frustrating it can be when you update your tools and suddenly everything breaks. It feels like you're doing everything right, but the errors just keep piling up. This is a common scenario for many developers, and we're here to help. Let's take a closer look at the specific issue at hand. One user recently reported that after updating to Android Studio 3.0 Canary 2 and updating Gradle, they encountered an error stating they could not resolve dependencies for their project. Sound familiar? Let's break this down. So, what's going on here? This error typically arises when there are mismatches in your build configurations, especially with flavors and build types. Understanding how these configurations interact is crucial for resolving the issue. And stick around. I'll share some practical solutions that can help you get your project back on track, plus a pro tip at the end that you won't want to miss. To begin resolving the user's issue, we should first check the build.gradle file for the app module. The user needs to ensure that the dependency configurations are correctly defined for the flavors and build types. Next, the user should confirm that the library module abechat is compatible with the flavors defined in the app module. Since abechat has no flavors, the user may need to add a default flavor or adjust the app module's dependencies. Now, the user should ensure that the product flavors in the app module are correctly referenced in the dependencies. This means checking that the flavors match the required configurations in the error message. Finally, the user should clean and rebuild the project. This step is crucial as it helps to clear any cached configurations that might be causing the issue. Fun fact, did you know that Gradle was originally designed to handle complex builds for Java projects? Now, it's a staple in Android development, helping us manage dependencies and configurations. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution provided by another user involves creating a new build.gradle file for your module project. First, create a folder named sample AR integration in the same location as your app folder. Then, paste your sample AR file into this new folder. Next, create a build.gradle file inside the sample integration folder and add specific code to configure it. Finally, update your app's build.gradle and settings.gradle files to include this new module and sync your project. Let's take a moment to review another user's answer. An alternative solution comes from a user who faced the same error. They suggest focusing on the line that mentions the unresolved project. This indicates that the project name, like abchat, may not be correctly referenced in your Gradle file. They recommend checking if the project is either saved in your app's library or if it's being downloaded from a web resource. To resolve the issue, the user provides two options. First, use your code editor to search for the project name in your files to confirm its import status. Second, review the build.gradle file to verify the project's availability and correct import method. Now, let's shift our focus to a different response. An alternative solution from another user suggests that if you're using Gradle version 7.1.x or higher and have already tried matching fallbacks without success, consider downgrading to version 7.0.4. That's all on that answer. Let's take a look at another one. An alternative solution provided by another user is to remove the old configuration from the build at Gradle file. Specifically, they suggest deleting the line that enables experimental Android extensions. Let's take a moment to review another user's answer. An alternative solution from another user suggests running Android Studio as an administrator. They found that this simple step resolved their issue with Gradle. Here's a pro tip. Always keep your Gradle and Android Studio updated to the latest stable versions. This can help prevent many compatibility issues before they even arise. And there you have it. 
With these steps, you should be able to resolve the unable to find a matching configuration error. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more troubleshooting tips and tricks.